My wife told me if this video is longer than seven minutes, she's not watching it. What, what, smart devices. What, what do you sell? IT staffing services. Great. Who do you sell to? CTOs, CIOs? Yes. Great. Make a video that the opening line says, does your CIO know? Make it 49 seconds. Don't talk about your product. Make it about the thesis of your world. Okay. Then deploy it against employees of the companies that you want to sell to. That CIO and CTO will have five emails in his or her inbox the next morning for people that work at DuPont, GE, small businesses, or whoever the hell your target is in 24 hours for a couple of hundred bucks. You know what that's called? Practitionership. Okay. And, 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 and the reason I'm making a big point about this is what I just told her is right. Make content that targets the person that makes the business decision, start the creative and the copy of, does your CTO know, then tell your story for a minute, and then deploy it for a hundred bucks against the employees of a company, which is one of the segmentations that you can run ads against in a Facebook world. It shows up in a feed, I go, hey, I work at this company, but I don't know if Rick knows this. Share, send to Rick, now Rick knows, Five people tell him he's curious, he comes into your funnel. That's a good idea. No shit. Thank you. <laughs> In all seriousness, I know that there's nothing wrong with long form content. Obviously, I watch it and I show it to you guys. The only variable when it comes to long form content is if it's good the whole time. And so Marianne told me that if it's longer than seven minutes, he's not gonna watch it. But that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna make a seven minute video today and wherever it's at after seven minutes, I'm just gonna stop it. The video's gonna end, screen's gonna go black, turn it off. If I haven't finished, sorry. So I'm gonna make today's video pretty quick. So I wanna share with you guys real quick some very exciting news, something very, very exciting happened. Somebody left their first comment on a YouTube post. And check it out, here it is. So somebody asked me why to F is this an ad? Great question. In which I replied, ha ha ha, LMAO. So did you watch it? In all seriousness, or in a seriousness, did it play as a stream video or a suggested video? And did you watch it? Did you hate it? Will you put it on your MySpace? I know she doesn't have MySpace. That was a joke. <laughs> I want to bring attention to this real quick because for anybody that's putting out content or anybody that has a desire to put a, put out content obviously not all the feedback is always going to be positive and i thought there was such an insightful question of why this is an ad and for me the answer is practitionership right the answer is making content around the thesis of my world right and the thesis of my world is deploying value around the interests of the people that you need to be able to execute on your goals and trade on an agreed upon currency, period. So I wanna share with you guys something that happened to me this week that was really cool and really impacted me and I think it's gonna end up in a follow-up video from this video. So I go out with my roommate, David. He wants to take me to his gym. His gym is closed for Easter and he wanted to and so we ended up going to another gym that was part of his gym that he actually hadn't been to yet either. He, we show up, the owner is at the desk, and, you know, I'm getting ready to sign up, sign in as a vis visitor. Uh, David checks in, and the guy's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it, you're a visitor, cool, you know, just put your name down, no charge. Immediately, I'm like, man, I don't know if I've ever been to a gym where they didn't charge me to just, you know, visit for the day, right? LA Fitnesses, big gyms like that, um, they're they're charging you every single time that you walk in the door. And so, I go in, have a great workout, beautiful gym, uh, cool like facilities, got all kinds of stuff. That's not the point. And though, so I'm getting ready to to leave the gym, and then. Um, I had ended up giving David my water bottle so that way he could put like his protein in it. And so I'm thirsty and I get to go 
get ready to go buy a bottle of water, grab it out of the the uh, the refrigerator, take it up to the guy's desk. He's like, you know, I pull out my credit card. He's like, I'm not going to charge your card for that. It's only a dollar. Get out of here. He didn't ask me to sign up for his email list, his membership list. He didn't ask me to, um, you know, take a tour. He didn't ask me to sit down for five minutes. My experience of going to a gym that I had never been to before was I walked in hassle-free, no money, walked out hassle-free, no money, free bottle of water. And my first thought was I want to make this guy a video because he gave me a free bottle of water. That's return on investment. That's practitionership. He, I, I, I have a gym that I go to that I don't even pay for at work for free every single day. And now I literally want to give this man my money because of his practitionership, the owner. Do things around the interests of people that you want to target, like myself, to go to a gym and give them great value around their interests like me interested in some h2o that was a very much value to me at the time for free and trade on a common currency he gave me free bottle of water i want to give him my money so my intent with exalt expo is to make valuable content around the interests of people that i'm interested in to execute on my goals and share on a common currency period so you can respond to this video in all kinds of ways you can hit next you can subscribe you can comment maybe you'll end up in the next exalt expo wink wink and or you can just do nothing and 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 hate me but you know i hate I, i'd hate me too if if are we at seven minutes yet